five cities, eight contestants, 13 days, $40,000, and a beach house on the line. This is Barstool vs. America Season 2. Presented by High Noon. Hannah, Pat, captains, any interest in giving it up? I'm gonna do what helps us win. So if we have someone here who can do a better job of being captain, I'll give it up. Pat let his guard down for some reason. I want, I want the big boy. You want the big boy? Yeah, I want captain. Are you gonna vote me out? What? Pat gave up his captainship to Dana for the best of the team. Blue team has won the challenge again. Dana, do you know your decision? I do. Okay. I'm sending Pat home. Oh my <laughs> God. The second that I was named captain, I knew it was gonna be Pat, I was sending home. They had a super team. Like, I don't understand why he did that. It was definitely a really stupid move by Dana. I was shaken up by the send home because I thought the whole bleed blue thing was for everybody. Dana has shown that he can't be trusted, so we'll see how that, that affects team chemistry. All right, tonight, is there another Airbnb since we're still... No. We're no. supposed to sleep on this. We sleep yeah. on the Airbnb tonight, yeah. yeah. It's outrageous. White Sox Dave, in comparison to Pat, I believe they are both very fiery competitors. So Pat is like having a cobra on the bus. You treat it with respect, it won't kill you. White Sox Dave is like having a wheel of cheese on the bus. It has a slight odor, and it just kind of bounces around. It will be hysterical. I want the record to show that if I do decide to sleep in my own bed tonight, it won't be because I was peer pressured by these guys who were looking to get laps out of me. It'll be because I just felt like sleeping in my own bed. My first impression of White Sox Dave was like, wait, what? He uh, has no filter. I plan on dominating all the hoes in the other books. You can't say that. Why can't I say that? Oh, you can call them hoes. It's not all women in there, is it? So just exclude the women. OK, there are hoes and the women. The hoes and the women. <laughs> all right. I'm Get that thing out of my face. Oh my god. Is it much better? What, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my, you got a nice bed. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you fucking lounging. I'm in there crumpled like a cake. We need a W bad in Chicago. We need it bad because we need a good night's sleep. We've been sleeping in the RV forever. We've never got to stay at the high noon house. I'm fine sleeping in my little tomb on the bus. As much as people were like, Hannah's gonna be so high maintenance, she's not gonna be able to last. I was like, you know what? When you guys are wrong, I can last on the bus. Alex bought me a gluten-free. She bought me a gluten-free and the It was awesome. That literally looks like a sponge. It is. Are we gonna get the Airbnb in Chicago? I hope so not. Pat's gone. I think that we're all kind of fed up with losing so much. And I also think that Pat being gone makes things a little bit more even and fair. They just had so much size on us, they had so much power on us, and now it definitely feels a lot more even. I mean, we need a fucking win. We can't play this whole entire thing and not win one time. That's mortifying. We need a win going into to the final challenge because we need a morale boost, because if we don't, it's gonna be fucking horrible. I got a text this morning from Jeff saying, arrive hungry this morning. That makes me think we're eating hot dogs. You and Dave are just going to destroy me, so I don't even think I'm going to eat one. Yeah. I don't think they can have a ton. So I think it's just going to be me and Dave chowing down, and I'm ready for that. Uh, yeah, where is Dave? Is he here? Did he sleep here? Yeah, I don't know what, where he is right now. This morning, we all wake up and White Sox Dave is gone. We're like, where is he? He's probably outside or something, but it's pouring down rain, so why would he be outside? It's a monsoon outside. Where'd you go? <sighs> White Sox Dave is five foot one, and he's in the top bunk, and it was like six o'clock in the morning, and I see his little legs dangling off. I'm like, what's this? And he scampers away. I was just of the assumption that we, I was gonna be sleeping at my place, which isn't a big deal either way but I had only packed, like, assuming I was gonna be at my place. I had to get winter weather eyes. Had shorts and a t-shirt. You guys are in the trust tree, correct? Are we all in the trust tree? This morning I woke up and I had to take a shit. 
So instead of taking a shit on the bus at seven in the morning, I went to my house and took a shit there. He Ubered home to take a shit. And it cost him $45 each way. White Sox Dave took a $90 poop. What are you consuming today? I just hope it's nothing nasty. It's gotta be dogs. Gotta be. If it's dogs, then we're good, we're gold. Yeah. I'm a seasoned dog eating better. What were you doing before this competition? I went home and got, I had basketball shorts and a t-shirt. I thought we were going to Grant Park. Is that like, no, it's like, Jesus growing life. Like a general. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe have eyes on Jeff's hairspray. <laughs> um, oh. No. Oh my. Oh, what a little topping. Welcome to Chicago. And as you can tell, we're going to have an eating challenge. Cowboy, good morning. How are you? How's good it been morning. so far? You were on the RV. There were some rumblings. You may not stay on the RV. You did, though. I stayed on it. Dave played by the rules, everybody. Give him a round of applause. You played by the rules in a bar school competition. Right, Dana, stand. you made a huge move in Madison. You kicked Pat off the show. Mm -hmm. I feel very happy with where I'm at right now. Um, I think, you know, I'm doing well in the game. Uh, I'm fat. I'm perpetually tired. I guarantee I'm going to win this. Okay. Good guarantee. Good guarantee. Now, other side, Kelly. Yes. You did an eating challenge last year. Hannah, thoughts? Yeah, I can't eat hot dogs. So. You didn't know glu uh, Hannah's gluten. Right. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, she's, every, Wait, she's, she's gluten. She's, yeah. got the, she's got the gluten. Hannah she's is gluten. gluten. And Alex is gluten, too. You're as well? Yeah. We do We do have gluten stuff. Like, we have gluten-free gluten ingredients. Let's say gluten-free. Yeah. Gluten-free gluten ingredients. Gluten -free. Yes. Gluten -free. Yes. Marty has ruined my, my mind now. She's Hannah gluten. is gluten is a sentence you just said. Stomach hurts all the time. Just eat the gluten. <laughs> <laughs> Let's explain the rules. It's not just a straight hot dog eating competition. As always, you'll be facing off against your teammates. Three hot dogs will be in front of you. You must eat all three of those regular hot dogs. You also will be getting a Chicago-style dog to give to somebody else. We will draw names at random, and that'll determine the order in which you give out a Chicago dog. Will you game plan and give them all to one person? Will you spread them out? It's up to you. A little different than just straight up hot dogs. Somebody could, in front of them, have a bunch of Chicago-style hot dogs. Yellow, you went first in Madison, so blue, you're gonna go first this time. Think about who you wanna give your Chicago-style hot dog to. We will draw for positions, we will eat hot dogs. The winner on each side will be captain for a big Chicago challenge before we head to our final city of Boston. All right, everybody, get ready. If you ask me for strategy for an eating, What's your strategy? I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat the hot dogs. I'm not gonna touch any hot dogs. <laughs> so we find out we get the Chicago style dogs, and everybody gets to give one away to somebody else. We're gonna give them all to Dave. I'm gonna give mine to Dave for sure. Okay. Or if we want to just give them to you because you're not gonna yeah, win. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just give them all to me. So we don't have to eat as many. And then and then save yourselves, and you guys just go three on three, and it's even. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at my. Uh, Thickness, T-H-I-C-C-C-C-C-N-E-S-S, -C 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 -S, that kind of thickness. It's very apparent that I like to eat. I'm on my home turf, and I was confident that I would win. All right, blue team, two things that are very important. No throwing up. If you vomit, you're out. You vomited last year in the show, but it was after you'd won already, and then you chugged the whole thing of aioli. So trying, I was trying to bring the count. heat. If you puke up the hot dogs, you're out. Clean plate, no like chunks of a bun or chunks of a dog. We're gonna give out these Chicago-style dogs. We decided as a team, in order to keep it fair, everyone will give their dogs to me, and I'll give my one dog to White Sox Dave, who actually wants it. Nick, you give out the first Chicago-style dog. Who do you wanna give your dog to? Alex Bennett. Alex Bennett gets the Chicago-style hot dog. So the plan was to give him to Alex Bennett. I went first, I gave the Chicago dog to Alex Bennett. Next up, Dana. Who do you want to give your dog to? I came into this and I said, I'm not going to overthink. I'm not going to get in my own way. I'm just going to play cool. And I just started thinking and I overthought. I overthink. I'm dumb. I, ah. White Sox Dave. White Sox Dave, here you go. One Chicago style hot dog. Dana, for some reason, inexplicably gave me one of the Chicago dogs. I overthought it and I gave Dave one of the hot dogs. Hot dogs. I say hot dogs weird. Hot dogs. 
Alex, who do you want to give it to? Dana. Oh, Dana, fuck. not even pay back to Nick. How about that? I fucked myself. Yeah, there. you did. Don't yeah. don't yeah. turn on the strategy. And that kind of pissed me off because I was like, that wasn't the plan. You just you kind of threw a grenade in that whole thing. And last but not least, Mr. White Sox Dave. Are Dana. You even, okay, no. so Nick I escaped. Blew. Only three dogs. That's You're what you get. I yeah. overthought it. I overthought <laughs> it. <laughs> absolutely did. did. Dana is the big loser in this one. He has two Chicago style hot dogs. Dave, you have one. Alex, you have one. Nick, none. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, first one done is the captain of the blue team for the Chicago Challenge. Three, two, one, go. Chicago dog is the first move for Dave. Dana going three dogs in hand, no bun. I knew I didn't have a chance because those things were big. So I basically just grabbed three dogs at once and started chomping. Alex just wants a little bread. Alex has essentially just mailed this in right now. Dave with the Chicago style dog, not sliding down the gullet like I would have expected. Nick nearing the completion of the first dog, a huge advantage for him. Dave is now making a new Chicago style dog with his remnants from the other Chicago style dog. White Sox Dave looked like how White Sox Dave always looks. Disgusting. Dana's triple fisting. Want me to quadruple fist? Yeah, come on. I'll quadruple fist. I don't know why you're asking me for your strategy. It's your game. Nick going at a steady pace. Dave trying to catch up with Nick. He actually might be able to do it. Nick halfway done. Actually, I'd say two thirds of the way done with the second dog. Dave is, is I think, visibly shaking, but he's doing a great job right now. I don't know if he was trying to shake to like compact the food in his stomach or he'll have some bullshit excuse. When I'm forced to sprint, like I was forced to sprint through those hot dogs, you get a little nervous, you get a little shaky. I was shaking because um, I wanted to win. Alex out, Dana, no shot really at this at all. It would take a miracle. Once I saw Nick was down to his last one, I just kind of stopped eating and uh, let the boys play. Nick onto the final dog. I knew I had a lot of catch up to do in the last dog, dog and a half maybe. Nick with a very casual water pour. He's coming close to the last bite. Dave trying to get it. It's close. Dave might throw up. I had too much in my throat and I couldn't swallow it. I thought I was going to get ready to call the medic over. The corners of his, his mouth was forming that like milky substance that old women get. I knew it was over. So I started taunting him a little bit. Nick, wow. last one is wow. <laughs> taunting Dave. Dave <laughs> mails it in. Nick, clean your mouth and you're good to go. Dave just threw a hot dog across the room. Nick is going to show a clean mouth Are and once again me? will win a challenge. Nick is going to be the captain of the blue team here in Chicago and will be safe from elimination unless he gives it up. Nick, that was a very leisurely pace. Were you surprised you had no disadvantage? Our plan going into this was for the three of us to go at it. We were going to all give them to Alex. I went first and I followed and then Dana just didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, what an idiot. There is zero reason to backstab someone, to, to veer off that course. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen anybody do in my entire life. And I have lived with myself for 33 years and I do dumb shit and say dumb shit perpetually. What an idiot Dave you, is. You, I will say, and I, think, and I think that did save you. Dave, you fucking crushed the I would have fucking that won that easily. Impressive. You just time. handed it to Nick, you moron. That was <laughs> Maybe that was strategy. Maybe that was strategy. I truly don't have any really cruel intentions towards Dave. I just didn't really want him to win. But Nick, you are captain of the blue team. Congratulations, yellow up next. I need Joey to win and then... I need Joey to win. Take out Hannah. I don't want to be ever a person voting someone out because then at the end they could bite me in the ass. I want to tell everyone to do what I want them to do instead of me actually doing it so I seem like the nice guy. So I don't get what the plan is. What's the fourth one though? Like, so, so only one of us has to eat one extra fancy dog? Like we shouldn't give it to you because you're gonna win. Who do we want to be captain? You. So then give me the hot dog. Okay. No, but giving you the hot dog makes you eat more. Hannah didn't understand who to give hot dogs to. Joey didn't understand. Joey's like, oh, I want to try one of the Chicago dogs. I'm like, what are we doing? Yellow team strategy was pretty much Joey's going to win. <laughs> I have no clue why we wanted Joey to win. Marty was just like, give it to me. And I was like, OK. And I basically, again, incepted them to just be like, give them to me. I want all of them. We want Joey to win. I still don't know why they want to be the captain. Maybe because they're afraid to hurt people's feelings, but I'm not. All right, yellow team. We just saw Nick become captain of the blue team here in Chicago. 
Joey, you're doing a, some sort of a, a character performance here. Well, I'm gearing myself up to, because this is like, um, I feel like a frat bro right now. I like to like, pig out, smash some, smash some puss, and um, <laughs> Mario and I are gonna hit the titty bar later. Here we go, the first person giving out a Chicago-style dog is Kelly Keegs, who gets a Chicago-style dog. Marty. Next person's giving out. Marty, who do you want to give a Chicago-style dog to? I would like to give it to Hannah. One for Hannah. Next one, Joey, who are you going to give a Chicago-style dog to? Kelly Keegs. Kelly Keegs, oh, pretty even here. And last but not least. Marty. Marty gets two. Two for Marty. So, much. I get stuck with no good flavors. <laughs> I'm the fattest guy Joey's here. Joey's so upset. I don't think you quite get the challenge. Um, I came to Chicago and I wanted to try the Chicago style hot dog. So I would rather have ate three of the good ones instead of three of the shitty ones. Three hot dogs for Joey. Three for Marty plus two Chicago dogs. <laughs> three for Keeg plus one Chicago dog. Three for Hannah plus one Chicago dog. We will begin in three, two, one. Go! Joey, big Here advantage. Guys. That's how Nick won. Marty, I don't even know if he's eating. He's, he's gonna eat. Okay, Joey's gonna dunk. I love a hot dog. Frankie Chestnuts, what's his name? Joey Chestnuts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joey Chestnuts. Chestnut. 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 This is interesting right now. Marty really putting no effort into this. <laughs> Marty is just enjoying a morning snack. Oh, really good. I love hot dogs. Joey also going slow. <laughs> Very low energy. Hannah may accidentally win this challenge at this point. Um, it would almost seem as though this is being gift wrapped to Joey. Are you just, you're just being handed the yeah, well, well. <laughs> Can I borrow a pickle from my friend? Take a pickle. Put lots of pickles. No, am I too No. I have so much bad with stuff on it. <laughs> Eat the other one first, it's vegetables. Okay. Throw them over the piggy feet. Throw them over the piggy feet. Don't throw up. No. You are gonna no. accidentally puke, no. and if you do, do not if you up. accidentally puke, up. you're out of this challenge. Joey, do not throw up. He's <laughs> dead. What a boy. It would seem to be a gift wrapped victory. Joey is the captain of the yellow team. Joey is safe for elimination. Slay Before another day. Thoughts, Joey? Do you, did, thought, did you know you were about to be given the victory? No, I'm still, I was still, I was still walking on the steps, still confused. They had a whole plan going. I had no idea what was going on. I was like, I just got here. I was just happy to eat. If I had like an ice cold diet coke with lemon on there, I had mustard or some toppings on those hot dogs, I would have had a good old time. I could have gotten done half the time if I had all my supplies. Yellow team, your captain is Joey. Blue's captain is Nick. File on out. We'll see you tomorrow for the big team challenge here in Chicago. I fucked up the plan. I can't believe it. The plan was given to all to Alex because she wasn't going to win. And I gave mine to Dave because I just didn't want Dave to win. And then Nick won. What the fuck? It was unintentionally smart. I don't get what happened. What did you guys do, though? Dana thinks he's smart and he tries to outsmart himself and he just threw the competition for himself and gave it to Nick where he did not need to give it to Nick. He could have won the competition. Dana just handed him the fucking captain. They're smart. Good job, Dana. You're smart as fuck, man. It really wasn't calculated. It was just stupid. I don't think Nick will screw me over, but I do think Alex probably lost some trust in me. The blue team said we weren't going to turn on the blue team, and you voted Pat off. And then today, we had all decided on a strategy, and you went against that also. So do I have something to worry about with Dana? Like, is Dana just going to tell me that I'm good, but then I'm not good and I'm blindsided? I'm happy Nick won. I'm happy Nick won. Yeah, yeah. Same. Guys, <laughs> nobody's safe. <laughs> Stop it. Right now, if I had to send one person home, it's the best person on the other team. It's Marty Mush. He's the first person to start catching on that I'm good at this. This narrative of Nick, I gotta learn from him how he gets everyone to percept him as this fucking king of these challenges and such a good guy. I swear to God, it's because I wear glasses. Everybody's like, what the fuck? This guy with the fucking glasses ate three hot dogs? Fucking spectacles, fucking four eyes over there? Ate three fucking hot dogs? The dude in the glasses was able to kick a ball into a goal? Everybody's a moron. I have such a good plan right now. What's this plan? We win today. Joey takes off Hannah, and hopefully we get a bloody guy. If we lose, he's kicking off Alex. I think that we have to, uh, we gotta win. The yellow team's gotta win. Wins. Takes on balance. 
go to the championship and if they win, they bring me over. I can't lose unless something crazy happens. I can't lose. Oh, see, I'm so smart. I was looking for my socks. I was calling myself stupid, but I'm actually smart because I put them in here. Marty and I have had a few conversations just to be sure that we're all on the same page with having to potentially vote Hannah off. I have to tell Joey to eliminate her so we can get a better team. If it comes down to I get to send someone home, I would go with Dana Beers because he sent my sister home. If he eliminates Dana, it's like switching one for one other person, another athletic person, it's not gonna change anything. What is our plan, Uncle Marty? I'll um, fucking kill you. I mean, we gotta win the challenge. Okay. Yes. Another strategy is I, I'm gonna kick Hannah Cook off because what we need is we need manpower and we need it fast. Nick is such a fucking wild why won't you just confide in us? <laughs> and tell us what's going on. Last time, he told us Alex was gonna be captain, so we got excited and made me captain, and then it was fucking Beers that was captain. He's fucking with us, because he doesn't care. He's just, he's just, no, he's just, he wants you to but think. he's a smart, he's like a genius. No, he does that all the time. He, oh, Nick doesn't care, he wears glasses. Yeah. He cares about everything. I like Marty. I think he's smarter than a lot of people give him credit for. I think he gets a lot of uh, unnecessary shit, but he wanted me to send Alex Bennett home. I don't know, Alex Bennett's been an awesome teammate. It sounds like if Nick were to stay captain, the best gameplay for him would be to vote someone off his own team. I didn't even think about voting someone off your own team to become stronger. Yeah. 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 Hannah has no idea. I honestly don't think that Joey would eliminate me. I think that we're good as a yellow team right now. I think it'd be someone from the other team for sure. But I think that Joey's so set on just getting back at. Getting back at <clears throat> My heart sunk when I found out Joey was captain because obviously he's in cahoots with Pat. So immediately I thought I'm in danger if the yellow team wins. What do you think, Joe? Are you, are, are what are we gonna, talking about? We're just trying to figure out where your head's at. If you say captain, what are you going to do? I'm kicking off Dana Beers if you win. Probably assume it's me. Yeah, I think it'd be a revenge hit on Dana from Pat. That's confirmed. That's fact. confirmed. Then they get another person that could be We're stronger. Thinking out loud. We're just thinking out loud. On the off chance they win, their team has to get better. I could see him booting somebody weak on their team. You probably have to kick off from our own team. To benefit this team, you probably have to kick off someone on this team. Oh, yeah. So it's two kid out girls. Okay. Very <laughs> bad. I'm safe right now. I'm pulling any string I want. I, I don't even have to do anything. I, I, I'm done. Holy shit, what a revelation. Yeah, Marty's for sure safe. Yeah. Unless yeah. I get rid of him. Right. I don't think he's gonna kick off Marty because the three of us have a pretty good pack that we want to just win at the end. I don't even know why he said Marty, actually. He said that, and now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't really make sense. I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed out. So much like PTSD. I hated this so much. Last season, I have no idea how we ended up winning that Chicago challenge. I was the captain then, and uh, we came back from almost blowing it entirely. I don't know if I can do it again physically. I think I left it all on the court last year. I specifically asked before agreeing to this will there be a challenge like Chicago, and will it be? equal or harder, and I was told no. Oh. And that's the only reason I said yes to this trip. I want that on record. I said it a thousand times, but I really want people to know that. So on the bus, we were all discussing things, and Kelly was fucking freaking out and making us all nervous. And she was like saying, last year Chicago was so bad, so bad. I wanted him to win so bad. I literally didn't sleep away. I feel like I'm gagging. I feel like I'm, like, I'm nervous. I'm like, I'm gonna nervous puke. This area? Oh, wow, this is a nice spot. Plus, are we just gonna do the same exact thing? I mean, if it is, I was really hard. I don't want it really hard. I don't. All right, come on in. Bring it on in. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. 
cold, but it is a very big, very cool team challenge here this morning in Chicago. Nick, the captain of the blue team, as of right now. Joey, as of right now, captain of the yellow team. A couple of you recognize this from last year. Kelly, epic comeback on this course last year. It was a big moment in the game. Nick, what's the uh, morale on the blue team this morning? I thought morale was good. I thought morale was good. Yeah, yeah Dave's great. chipper right now. Dave's Morale's chipper. Good. How you feeling this morning? Yesterday, you had a tough morning. Uh, you pooped a lot, and then you ate a bunch of hot dogs. How you feeling today? Like a million dollar bill. Somehow you have the most, <laughs> the most, you, what is, what that? You? is that mustard underneath your armpit? What is that? Probably. Let's show that off. That's, how do you have the oh. dirtiest sweatshirt out of everybody? You've been on the show the I least. don't know. Here is how the game will work today. Nick and Joey, you are the captains. Again, you have a chance to give it up after this. It is going to be a best of five. First team to win three rounds wins the challenge. You will start at these buckets. You're gonna be given a sequence of cans. The first one will be four cans, the second one five, and the remaining three games will be six cans. You will go through all three of those holes, underneath the next two obstacles, over the platform to your team. Your team will then retrieve the cans, bring them all the way back. First team to lock in their cans in the correct order wins that game. If you order the cans incorrectly, you will get a chance to do it again, but not until the other team guesses. So Joey, if you lock it in and it's wrong, you can reorder it, but you cannot get another guess until Nick then does it as well. First team to do it three times wins that challenge. A stay tonight in Chicago in a house, as well as plane tickets to fly to the next city as well, no RV. And of course, the winning team captain will get to do the final elimination here in Chicago before someone else arrives and we move on to Boston. Teams, you'll break off, strategize. Nick, Joe, if you want to give up captainship, you can discuss that. We'll be back here for this final team challenge here in Chicago before the finale in Boston. Seven of you are going to be going to Boston with a chance to win the money and the house one of you will be going home. Just get it all out. Get it all out. This is easier than No, it is not. When I agreed to do the show, I also specifically asked about Chicago and said, is it going to be as difficult as it was last year? Because I can't do it if that's the case. There's 50 yards What did I say to you on the phone? I said, I will only do the show again, season two, if this is not as hard as last year. It's not. Kelly had us all worried that we were going out there and we are basically going to die and we'll never see our families again, and this is the end of our lives. That's how she was sending it up. The only thing that kind of made me nervous is that Kelly was so nervous that she puked on the bus prior. I'm freaking out. Is this gonna be hard? Yes, very hard. I'm freaking out when I see the challenge because Kelly has told me time and time again how terrible this challenge is and that she couldn't complete it last year. Everybody who took part in Barcelona vs. America last summer said that the Chicago challenge was like stormy Normandy. What's the hard part? The, the memorization? No, that and it's physically taxing. So Dana had taken part in this uh, exact challenge last year, and he said the hardest part was the memorization of the orders of the high noon cans. Well, we gotta figure out who's captain so we can figure out how many cans each of us have to take. I need to know if I can lift it, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'll see, I think I can, but I don't know. So you can stay in captain? Yeah. All right. right, Nick's our captain, we kept him captain because we thought that he would be able to be the best person to memorize. I'm awful, awful, awful at memorization. So I was worried. So what I'm gonna do is we're all just gonna repeat the, so, so we're gonna hold each other accountable for yes. memorizing the order. So I'm gonna say it as soon as I get to you guys. All right, I have to. LGK, someone remember LGK? LGK, WPP. Wait, why WPP. Are we, yeah, what, but why are we doing this right now? We're not, yeah, because it's yeah. just, it's, yeah, this is just gonna make it harder. Order. Yeah. yeah, okay. White Sox Dave is freaking me out because he cannot comprehend what this challenge is. Are they gonna have the same order? Yeah, okay, so we could theoretically look at theirs. We're overthinking it. Yeah. Yep. We are. We We're are. For it's, easy. it's not we can easy, memorize. but it's it's a simple concept. Yes. Well, all you gotta do is drag the thing down. You don't have to carry anything. Just you kick everything. No, it's, it's it's harder to kick, to be honest. It's harder. Well, to you get still it. gotta do it, right? No, I'm. You're gonna tell me, and I'm gonna run. You're through. not carrying any cans. No, I said that I can't carry them. They're too heavy. Kelly said that she can't 
hold any of the cans. So Joey's like, what are we doing here? Like, we all have to try. And Joey almost called his agent and left. Once we realized it was exactly the same, I knew how to win this. Jeff is going to tell you the flavors. Yeah. You're going to have to run to us. I go. You guys are all starting down there. No, I already know this. So I got really, really frustrated with Joey. And I was trying to explain to him, once he got through the course, he could tell me the information. He just kept insisting that he would remember it perfectly. Uh, that's the memory's not my problem. It will be your problem. I'm telling you, it will be your problem. It will be your problem. I can remember four four things. You can't remember six after you've done yes, this I four can. times. They were also dramatic. Kelly and Marty were wiling out. The blonde one was like ditzy, and she's like all around the place, not knowing what to do. I know, but you still have to go through the same. Stop interrupting. Listen to my voice. Joey and Hannah just interrupt me all fucking day and don't want to hear what I have to say. Bitch, I'm the one who did this last year. I'm the one who won this for the team. I'm the one who brought it back. This team's so dysfunctional. If they could just realize we did it last year, they just don't listen. So I, it's very infuriating. Can someone just tell me what I have to do? I can't. You have Jesus to, Christ. You have to, you'll have to help. Just has to, just has to bring the cans Bring over. the cans through do the course Do I have to memorize once. anything? No. Oh, so I just have to run through the course. Just run through the course Easy, with the can. It. Fine. Hannah is just like, I mean, she, like, again, she's great, she's trying, whatever. It just, it takes her so long to understand what the fuck we're doing. We're Can I so tell you fucked. right now, it's clean. We got it though. It's all right, this is good. I, I'm angry. That's that, all right. I'm just letting you know, this is not going to be much gusto behind my, 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 uh... All right, yellow team, blue team, the Chicago team challenge. Winner gets to fly to Boston. Winner gets a house tonight in Chicago. And the winning captain eliminates somebody before the finale. First team to win three games out of five wins the challenge. When I blow the horn, you will go. Here is the first order of cans. Guava, passion fruit, pineapple, lemon. Three, two, one, go! And they are off. Joey's confidence in this challenge is very low. We know if you watch last season, it doesn't matter unless you can memorize it. Guava, lemon. Nick, to the team first. Let's see what the strategy is. Joey rolls over the platform. He's now to his team. They will begin to do the cans. Dana, first can over the platform. We had everything ordered out. We were gonna go like a conveyor belt, like Henry Ford uh, um, assembly line. Yes, thank you. That was what I was looking for, assembly line. First can for White Sox, Dave threw. Alex, last can through for her. Nick has the fourth and final can. Will they order it properly though? Yellow, not as far behind as I think they thought they would be, but yellow with clear advantage. Can Nick remember the order? The yellow team did not have a single can through the entire deal by the time we had put up all of our cans. I looked over there and they were just stuck all in a row. They were just like stuck in the middle of the challenge. No can was through. It was awesome. Nick, Alex, Dave, Dana ordering. Are you ready to check? Guava, passion fruit, pineapple, lemon, one to nothing blue team after the first four. It's endlessly frustrating to keep losing when you feel like nobody is listening to you when you have done it before. We explained the game to Hannah maybe 46 to 58 times. After the first round, she just realized that Joey has to come back and tell us the flavors. What are we doing here? All right, blue team one, yellow nothing. A lot of game left. Five cans now, five cans. You will only hear this one time. Kiwi. Pineapple, watermelon, lemon, passion fruit. Three, two, one. Oh, they didn't go. <laughs> and they're off. A lot of lackluster horn blow, but they're, but they're off now. I probably broke it to be fair. Joey going through. I forget, uh, Kiwi? I let my team down in round two. They said, what are the cans? What's the order? And I said, guys, I don't know. I just don't think guava's in it. It's all the, all the guava. Everything but guava. So we brought five cans, everything except guava. I brought two, everyone else brought one can. Marty and Joey are right now super confused. Joey came back, had the first two people go and only gave us four flavors when there was five. So that was a tough start, so I knew we were gonna struggle. Huge lead for Blue. Bennett and Dave are through with their cans. Yellow, pretty far behind, but now it looks like they have all the cans that they need. Dana still getting through. His two cans. Nick falls through the last one. 
Can on the platform for yellow. Nick is starting to order the cans. Last can going through. Dana's two cans have made it towards the oh, platform. Oh, fuck, I forget all. I forget. Look at what the next one is. Round two is a disaster, an absolute disaster. What's the next one? The way blue is going, yellow could really catch up. Dana, what is it? They're befuddled yeah. right now. They have huh. no idea what's going on. We start looking at the order that the yellow team is sending through their cans. The blue team is going to copy that, and we're faster, so we'd be able to get our cans up quicker than them. They have lemon on the last one? Swap, 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 swap. They're going to swap. Yellow's close. Check. Check. They want to check. Kiwi. Passion fruit. This is incorrect. What? Blue, this is incorrect. We copy the yellow team's order. Turns out the yellow team had the same problem. They had no idea what order these cans were supposed to go in. Try remember, remember. This is it. No, we can't. Check. Kiwi's definitely first. Yeah, it's. Joey forgot it immediately, didn't know shit. This yellow right, was way right, behind. Right. Now they're in it. They want to check. Kiwi, passion fruit, incorrect. Blue, here's another check. I must have asked him three or four times, being like, are you sure you're going to remember? And he was like, I remember everything. Everything. I have no problem with that. I should have been captain for this challenge. Pineapple. Pineapple's wrong. Pineapple's yeah, wrong. Pineapple's wrong. Pineapple's wrong. Swap something. Wait, why don't we just swap these two? Do you want that check? Then? Yeah, fuck it. Kiwi, passion fruit, watermelon, pineapple, lemon. That is incorrect. Yellow, you have a chance now. It was struggle bus city. Neither team had any clue what the fucking order was. Yellow was beyond out of this, and they are in the thick of it now. They want to check. Kiwi, passion fruit, lemon, watermelon, pineapple. That is incorrect. Reorder. Blue, you have a chance now as well. Kiwi, pineapple, watermelon, passion fruit, lemon. That is incorrect. Yellow, you have a chance now. So let's do passion fruit right here. Put passion fruit right here. We never tried it there. Let's do lemon seconds. All right. Kiwi, lemon, pineapple, passion fruit, watermelon, incorrect. OK, new wrinkle. When I read the cans off, when I stop on a flavor, that flavor is wrong. The rule was introduced that as Jeff DeLo was reading the order of the flavors, he would stop reading on an incorrect flavor. Well, that didn't work out well for the blue team because we were up next. Therefore, if we had our order, four of them right, we were going to literally give the yellow team the first four, and we didn't like that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, Here, right. swap these two. Swap these two. Which ones? Just the first two. It doesn't matter. But you know it's Kiwi. Right. right. Oh, true. Right, right, right. So we had to go first, and I thought it was a huge disadvantage to go first in that. So we just put the wrong one first intentionally. So they would try, and then we would see where they went wrong. OK, I'm going to read the cans off. Passion fruit, incorrect. Yellow, you're up now. Fuck them. No, no, no. We want to get it wrong because they're doing it to us. We're not doing it. They're doing us. We're doing it to them. This is be a stalemate of the century. Are you ready, Joey? Yeah, yes. let's do it. Pineapple, wrong. Yeah, we're not letting them go first. I know pineapple's wrong. Who put that no, there? No, we we're letting them because they're fucking with us. What are we doing? They're fucking with us. Jesus we're Christ, we need to outsmart them. Attention. Even though they're stronger than us here, we can be smarter. Seems like we don't got both. Nick, are you ready? Yep. Lemon, incorrect. Back to yellow. I think we do the first one right just to get it going, yeah, so they have to go. Okay, go. Kiwi. Pineapple, passion fruit, other side. So passion fruit's the wrong okay, one? OK, kiwi, pineapple, passion fruit. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you good? Yep. Kiwi, pineapple, watermelon, passion fruit, incorrect. Yellow with a chance to win it. Just gave it to him. We gave the yellow team three in a row. We gave them the first three that were correct. We literally gift wrapped them the whole entire game. What were they just? Is that what they have? They didn't hear it. They didn't hear it. They didn't hear it. No, what was it? What was it? We have to remember. Did you guys not fucking remember? Toward the end, Marty thought we lost, so we threw a can. It was up to those two cans to just be switched, but we couldn't remember which was where. All right, switch these. Switch these. I threw this. No way. This is wrong. We've got it. Yeah, they're wrong. They got it wrong. They're wrong. Yes. Kiwi, pineapple, passion for incorrect. Oh, oh, no. No. Then they stop. Oh god, right. we're so dumb. We're so fucking dumb. We're so fucking dumb. Passion fruit's not third. Turns out that third one was wrong. Passion fruit. Blue gave it away to yellow, but yellow wasn't paying attention. Kiwi, pineapple, watermelon, lemon, passion fruit. Two nothing. Yeah. Blue team. Yeah. The yellow team. We basically gave them the answer. Quite literally, handed it on a silver platter and said. 
Here's the win for round two. They couldn't do it. I'm just going to lose sleep over this fucking passion fruit situation. We could have been tied at least. But um, no, that was again on us. We just misunderstood what was going on. All right, blue team, you're up two to nothing. This is last year in last season of this show where it all fell apart for blue. You're not out of this yet, yellow. Six cans, lemon, guava, watermelon, passion fruit, kiwi, pineapple. Three, two, one. Nick is doing something interesting. He's actually putting it down in water on the, the platform. It had rained yesterday, and the, like, the dry black wood treated it like a Marvin's magic drawing board from TV. And I dipped my finger in the water and just kind of wrote the letters out. Nick may have just gamed the system in an unbelievable way. That was maybe an all-time tricky reality show move. As he goes the other way, Marty is just by himself now. I saw Nick, so smart Nick, writing something, and all of a sudden I just fucking took off. Marty is now erasing it from the platform. What the fuck? They can't be on our side. Marty, very, very heads up play. Is Nick that... had it written down on the platform. There was no rule saying you can write it and no rule saying you can erase it either. Both were legal moves. Kelly doing it now on the platform. Blue has all their cans going through. First one to the platform for yellow. A big do nothing lead for the blue team. Blue has a lot of wiggle room. Yellow has absolutely none. Nick is now, <laughs> Nick is now tackling the cans. I guess there's no boundaries. I had already had two cans up on the thing and Nick came over and knocked our can off. I don't love that kind of gameplay. Nick, hell of a move. That's gamesmanship at its highest level right there. Blue slightly ahead, actually about three cans ahead. Joey gets the last one on the platform. Nick could remember the letters he had written down. The problem was he didn't know which P was which. Blue team wants it checked. Lemon, guava, kiwi, passion fruit, watermelon, pineapple. That is incorrect. Uh, yeah. No, you're not okay, so much Yellow time. standing around for no reason. They have a massive advantage right now. Oh, that's it, that's yes, 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 yes. You want to try it? Yes. Lemon, guava, kiwi, passion fruit, watermelon, pineapple, incorrect. Blue, you got a chance now to win the challenge. I just had to remember what P was it. What P was P? What P was pineapple? What P was passion fruit? PKP. So, pineapple. What P was it? What P was P? What P was pineapple? What P was passion fruit? Check it. Wait a minute. Lemon, lemon, guava, guava watermelon. watermelon. What, pea what pea was P? Pea. Passion Half fruit. fruit. The non-P1 non pineapple. They want to check. Lemon, guava, watermelon, passion fruit, kiwi, pineapple. Blue team has won the challenge. Three nothing. They dominate the six can version. Revenge for Dana in this challenge. After a wild beginning, they win three to nothing. Nick has the ability to eliminate somebody here in Chicago before we go to Boston. Blue team, once again, a sweep so far in this show leading up to the one that matters. You've won the team challenge. Nick, once again, as team captain, you've won another challenge. You get a chance to eliminate somebody from the game, except for Joey, very shortly. You win a stay at the house tonight. You're gonna be flying to Boston. How do you feel going into the finale with the blue team right now? Got to be pretty good. Yeah, I feel pretty good. We've won everything. I don't think uh, the other team knows I'm good at this yet. So uh, I think the whole oh, camera knows. What do you mean? I'm sick of it. Kelly, yes. were you even in this competition or did you just run through? Literally, I mean, don't even get me started. Uh -huh. Don't even get me started. No, I don't, you I don't just like, got started with me. I don't like sore winner Nick. He's the worst. We know you're good at it. Like, stop rubbing it in. You didn't participate in this game, Kelly. You. Ooh. Ugly moments, okay. ugly moments. Okay. I'm a very sore loser. I've made that pretty clear. I think he's an extremely sore winner. He acts like he doesn't care about the game. He shows up in fucking jeans. He acts like, oh, whatever, we're all just having fun. Own up to the wanting to play the fucking game and wanting to screw us all over. She would come at me for being a sore winner. But I guess the easiest way to stop that is to, like, beat me. The winning captain on the winning team in Boston will either get you pull somebody over from the losing team and split the money amongst more people, five people, 
or kick somebody from the winning team and win more money as they'll split the money up amongst only three. Nick, do you have your decision right now of who you want to boot from Barstool versus America season two? Nick and I, I think, have a, a very strong alliance at this point. However, he's talked about, hey, I might just go rogue. Or he'll be like, hey, White Sox Dave, I might just toss you out. What's, what's the popular poker phrase? Like, if you can't spot the sucker at the table, you're the sucker. I don't think I'm the sucker at this time, but I could be the sucker. Marty Mush. Marty, what a scumbag. <laughs> Marty is absolutely beside himself. I like Marty, but this being a competition and this being towards the end of the competition, I feel like it was a no-brainer. That's crazy. That's the stupidest thing. That Everyone says Nick's smart, that's dumb, because now we just get a better competitor. That was dumb. And Dana, you're a piece of shit. I don't know why Marty's I'm implicated here. It really just hit me like a ton of bricks that he kicked out Marty, because that's not what we had talked about. Once the challenge is over, Nick says, guys, I got to send home Marty. And he looks at Dana, and he's like, you cool with that? And Dana looked at me, and he said, as long as it's not me. I honestly thought it was a joke. Nick is a dickhead. That's pretty much what it came down to. Nick threw Marty off our team, and that was his strategy, because Marty was our strongest player. He didn't need to do that. We already, we already suck. It's like. He could have just picked someone out, any, anyone from the team, and we'd still probably fail. Do you feel good about this team? Because that's it. You had a chance to maybe, you know, do we want to replace someone here? Do you feel good about your team going into the final challenge? Right now, I feel the most camaraderie I've ever felt in my life. Wow. Um, do you I, smell camaraderie, Dana? Listen. Joey, I think there were moments where you almost walked off and said, I just don't have it. But guess what? You're in the finale. Oh, I'm excited to do that. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm sad Marty's gone. Now what am I going to do? Well, you're going to get a member in a second. It better be Gronkowski right now, or like Shaq or someone <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> huge <laughs> and powerful. All right, here we go. Are you ready to meet the eighth and final member of Barstow versus America season two? Let's bring him in. The four eliminated people from the show. Marty Mush, Glenny Balls, Pat, and KB are coming back into the game for the final challenge. It was awesome seeing those guys walk out. I forgot what Kyle looked like. I don't want there to be any bad blood, but I do want to compete. I respect them as people, but I don't respect them as my competitors. I am back. Everything that I said about Dana remains true, only now I hate him a thousand times worse. All right, welcome back to the game. Our eliminated members, eliminated in Florida, KB, eliminated in Tennessee, Glenny Balls, eliminated in Wisconsin, Pat, and eliminated 90 seconds ago here in Illinois, Marty, who is still very disgusted. In Boston, before the individual challenge, the four of these guys right here are going to compete against each other, and one person will return to the game. They will be on the yellow team, and that person will have a chance to become captain. They could have power after they were kicked out. KB, you were the first one out. How do you feel now? Revenge on the mind? Contestants. <laughs> Did you miss me? Yes. <laughs> Bet you thought I was slumming it back home <laughs> on my couch. Not anymore. Thank you, Glenny, <laughs> Glenny Balls. Do you, have a, do you have a speech like that? No, I'm just happy to be here. Pat, what a shock. What a fucking stunning comment. Pat, you were very, very angry at Dana. He's right there. You might be able to join a comrade over here and Joey. I'm the first ever girls and gays team. I'm ready to compete. I'd love to get back in there and send Dana's ass. Hometown, too. And Respect. Marty is Respect. saying the same exact thing. Marty seems to be more mad at Dana than he is Nick right Doesn't now. Doesn't make sense. Blue team, you are set. This is the team that will compete in Boston to win Barcelona versus America season two. You will fly to Boston, stay in the house tonight. Nick, Dana, Dave, Alex. Yellow team, you're just three for now. Kelly, Hannah, Joey. You will add one of these four members, KB, Glenny, Pat, and Marty, in Boston after the Get Back Challenge, and then you will all compete to become captain, and then the day after that, you will compete in a monster, monster challenge in Boston. It is fucking huge. Our next stage is the last one for $40,000 and a beach house and a lot of drama. File on out. I will see you in New England. You're fucking rude. To and who? that's to, uh, Whenever you want to be. You're fucking rude. Who am I rude to? 
You were just rude to me right now, acting like I didn't do anything in this challenge. What are you talking? I don't like that shit. Nick's facade, he plays this like nice guy act all the time. Then he's a fucking asshole to me in front of the entire production team saying I didn't do any fucking work. It's bullshit. But I know that this is like a game, whatever. I'm not taking that seriously. I But you, constantly... came, you came at me first. No, I know because you always pretend to be this like, oh, I'm not, I'm right, not this so competitive to... guy. For you to be like, they're pretending like I don't Kelly, know I'm good I, at it. I'm we just fucking gonna ask you know. a yes or no question. Not gonna be rude. Do you expect me to just take that? Or did you want me no, to No, 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 it was fine that you so, came but back. You, yeah, so. But I'm saying that you act like you don't come back at people. You do, I underestimate the fact that you'll come back and be rude as fuck. That's it. When I just said he was a sore winner and I said that I was sick of it, he responded and said, did you even do anything? It was malicious, it was rude, the way he said it. It was not funny. Yes, I fucking did shit. Saying that I did nothing in the challenge is fucking rude. I don't like that. You didn't carry the cans. Yes, I did, Nick. I carried the cans through half the fucking thing and pulled them through and put them up Joey every told time. Me you didn't carry the cans. And I remember, I tried to remember. Well, then I'm after sorry. Nothing. Then I owe you That's apology. the thing, you don't know shit. When I looked over, she was not moving any cans. Joey, her own captain, said she wasn't moving any cans. Joey was going to eliminate her if he won. And I don't mean from the game, I mean from like maybe Earth. Everyone's fighting. Kelly's uh, not on high alert. She's just been through it today, and um, she's like, you know, being very dramatic. The other uh, blonde girl's like, she doesn't know what's going on or where she is. We just feel defeated again. We feel lost. We don't know what's going to happen with our team. For the yellow team to become victorious in Boston, everybody just needs to open their ears and turn on their fucking brains. I felt bad for Marty, who now has to like fight to potentially try to get back on again. I think the first challenge is going to be awesome that we get a chance to even get back in the game. I'm not worried about Glenny. I'm worried about Pat and KB. I'm mostly worried about KB. He's got a lot of pent up energy. There is no one who has more of an inferiority complex and a desire to win than a, a former wrestler who failed at college wrestling and is five foot six. I'll be full Napoleon if I have to. I just want to win. Everyone keeps saying KB is the best athlete and the people that we could potentially bring back. But I personally know that Pat is a fighter. As much as I was like tearing apart his life last week, I actually kind of want him on my team. I don't want Pat anywhere near back in this game because I know for a absolute fact that his only goal, even if he doesn't win, it's to make sure that I don't win. Dana Beers is a slack-jawed drunk who can barely read. No one likes him. He voted me off his team. He had a powerful ally in me. Now he has an enemy. And now I'm out for blood. Pat's a fucking nightmare beast. He'll kill someone to, to win. Like he's like Teen Wolf. He has he has like a sickness in him. I think it'll probably be KB or Pat or Marty. Let's be honest. It's not gonna be balls. To quote Johnny Drama, what does Johnny Drama say? Back in the game, I am the fucking game, pal. So I'm very excited to be back, and uh, we'll see where the road takes us. I'll, 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 I, I need to whisper this to you. <laughs> real. Come over here. Just him. I feel like this is a scenario okay. where I'm getting fucked. I know no. he's winning. He I, just won. Just what are we say doing? it to our face. So you have to say it to the face. Of what I have come to learn, you are of financial. All right. Oh, oh, Jesus we'll Christ. So Dave. Don't if do we this. Win. Win. Jesus you own a house. Day. You are. <laughs> Don't We've do this. I got a bathroom Let's to fix. It. So I have come to find out that Alex comes from money. And I, I was gonna ask her this, I'm like, hey Alex, like three grand extra to me is a fuck ton of money, as it is, I assume, to Dana and uh, Nick. If I don't try, you don't What are you no, talking no, about? No, no, you want me to that. throw it and the whole team no. loses? You I'm need saying, me to try. But we could split it up three ways. We're not kicking off I'm, Alex. No, I'm not saying kick off Alex. Fucking Dave. We had just fucking won and he's already like, hey, we should cut Alex if we win this next one. He's been here for fucking two days. If there's like a live action Mucinex Man movie, that's what he should be doing. Not this. I thought I was the dumbest one on this I team. I've no, been here the whole time. I, but I didn't want to do that. No, I didn't want to just kick you off. I wanted your permission. That's why I'm bringing this up now. You wanted to ask me? Yeah. Dave, sure I'll give it up. Like, in what world? This is a team effort and we need all 14 players to play. Listen, White Sox Dave and I are cut from the same cloth. We're dumb. I think Alex is a fun teammate. I think she's been competitive, but I have no real alliance towards her. Dana's proved that his loyalty isn't fully to the blue team. Heading into this last challenge, there's a, a lot of questions in my head about what could happen with the blue team. Morale's high. Morale is sky high. Morale's fine. I'm just like, Dave, damn it. Right now, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. I'm not gonna say anything stupid, and I'm just gonna say, go blue. That's all I'm gonna say. On three, one, two, three, fuck, fuck em. Em.
Nice. Responsibly, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Next time on Barstool vs. America, Frisbees fly in the Redemption Challenge. I have never been more confident in a challenge than I am in this Redemption Challenge. Drama spills as things get personal. <laughs> and everything comes to an end in a massive final challenge. <laughs> Insanely hard. Insanely hard. I thought I was going to die. I thought I, my lungs were going to explode, and it was bad.